Hello, Internet. Hello, the world. I have a piece of property that's a slice of heaven. So if you want to buy it, you better get on it. Let me show you what we got. again paradise slice of heaven right could be yours with the right price with the right amount of cash bring cash <laughs> cash is always good so if you want a piece of heaven come look at this property at least just come look at it and then see what you leave behind all right we're going to do some more video and so i'm going to turn it around and show you the uh and i have to do it on a four-wheeler so if you hear some noise run that's because you see that walk i walk that a lot and if you want to walk a lot it's just to get your mail there you go you got your exercise but let's go down and look at the water real quick before we go to the next episode all right i'm gonna show you how clear the water is If we wait long enough, we might see a bass jump or two. This is perfect timing. Now keep in mind, there's a lot of clouds and the sun is not really shining. If the sun was shining, you could really see the difference in what I'm talking about uh, in the clarity of this water. This water is one of a kind. I can't find it anywhere around in this area, for one thing. Two, my friend, <laughs> his son keeps going swimming and we're scuba diving and swimming in here uh, almost twice, three times a month whenever he comes over. But when he's here, he keeps drinking the water and we tell him, stop drinking the water. But here's the thing. Two days later, three days later, he's still feeling good. So <laughs> I told him, I was like, look, that's a test. That's testimony to how good this water is. And one, it tastes good. And and then and then another thing, three is that I took this when I was in college, and I took this to a biologist, and I said, "Here's three glasses. Here's a plastic water bottle of Flavor Hills. Here's a scoop out of the lake, and here's from the well." And I was like, "Which one would you drink after?" 
about three or four weeks, I checked back in with him and he goes, I would get that glass there and I would drink it. I was like, are you sure you're drinking that glass, which is from that water right down there? He goes, yes. I was like, you know, you won't believe that that's my lake water. Oh, sorry with the camera there. So I'm trying to hold this thing without blocking anything. I should have got a holder. But anyway, that's the water. And that right there, you can't find. Now, you can find some artesian wells, but the state owns Tiger Creek Forest. So they're not going to let you have anywhere near that water. Whereas here you have the water and you, you can't find good water. You try to find good water. And as the years go by, you definitely won't find good water. And this is deep. So not only you got good water, if the state of Florida dries up like a bone, it's going to be at least 85 foot deep dry because I put a little fish finder thing in here and I, and I pinged it around and it's pretty deep. So there's some spots it didn't even hit. So I don't know. It could be deeper than that, to be honest on that. But it is deep. So you can scuba dive. My friend comes over and scuba dives all the time. Um, very clean water and there's fish in there. The fish don't bother you. You don't bother them. Um, you know, that's part of that. So... That's, that's what the lake is all about. It's so, it has so much value in it. You could put a zip line across through there. You could put two zip lines over here. You want to put three zip lines. You know, one going here, one going there, two going over there. You know, whatever you want to do. Um, you can you get a little uh, jet ski around here. It'd be a lot of fun. I, I used to have a, a little 30 horse kicker. There's a fish that just swirled right there. And, uh, and you might see stuff in the back behind me. And uh, also, there's plenty of deer. There's some of the best deer. There's a herd in here that's bigger than I, anything I've seen in Florida. And I've got one on the wall. Matter of fact, I got two. But one has this little small, you know, the smaller uh, breed of deer. But there's another breed of deer. And um, it's big. And I've seen five of them just sitting on the porch walk right on by me. So I know that that um, that gene is still around, still around and uh, being pro progressed. So you want a piece of heaven? Give me a call. Re reply on the message uh, below. Get a hold of me, and uh, we'll can we'll get together. You can take a look at this. Um, I got four and a half acres and then an acre here. There's a fish right there. I don't know if you can see that. So another acre of, of water or two acres that you cover. Um, and if you want more of the property, I, I got another five acres, you know, four and a half acres as well. But let's, let's work on your first one with the cabin and uh, uh, see if we can't uh, get you in a piece of heaven. Stay tuned. I'm going to ride the uh, next part. I'm going to ride around so you can see that there's a track. I got a uh, four-wheel track. You can ride around on horseback riding. You can go. Um, there's thousands of acres around this area um, that the state owns. And you can get a little permit. You can go hiking. You can go. There's camping areas. But you got the best camping site <laughs> on the on the planet. Um, but you got um, a lot of horseback riding. There's Arbuckle. You got more hunting areas and uh, fishing areas. Lake Arbuckle. You got Lake Kissimmee. You got Camp Mac right down the street. Um, Ten miles down the street this way, Camp Mac. Uh, a lot of tournament fishing, a lot of fishing. You got Lake Kissimmee right down there, like Lake Walking Water back this way. 
uh, a mile and a half, but you're not going to find water like this. You can go anywhere around here and you're not going to find the water that I have here in, in here. It's clean and you will know it, right? So give it a try. You know, give me give me a ring and uh, take a look at it and see if this is good for you. I mean, if one, if you uh, want your kids to go outside and play, they can go outside and play. They can ride four four wheelers, motocross bikes, horseback riding, side by sides. They can swim. They can play. They can jet ski in here. Uh, they can get a little motor on the back and surf behind it. <laughs> That's what we we're doing. With, my bro my brother's kids, they they love the surf, so we we tied a rope and ran them around here. You got a little, you can put those little toy speed car boats in here, and um, you can build a big place, and your kids will be safe. Your kids will be safe, so your kids can go outside and play, and you don't need five bodyguards to watch over them while they play. So, you want your kids to go outside? not sitting inside playing games all day long, this would be the place for you to bring your children or live here so your kids can go outside and play and enjoy the day. All right, stay tuned. And I'm going to run around a little bit more, give it another part of this on the track and everything. Okay. All right, here we go, part two. And we're going to go right around the track. So I'll, I'll try to keep the phone as steady as possible, but you know, I'm on, I'm not walking. So here we go. made it to the track. Sorry about that. So we finally made it to the track. And then the there's actually a hill right here. Kind of go over it. But we can go and you see the track kind of coming down through that way. And it's kind of on a hill, so we're on a ridge. You see where we kind of buzz through here dropping down into the gully. I hope the camera's running. I need to trim it up a little bit.
Chevy Trails. So what you think slice of heaven you got trail riding a lot of fun a lot of outdoor stuff a lot of getting out getting the fresh air it's just a slice of heaven you can't beat it so it is for sale so if you're interested drop me a line comment thank you if you like this uh uh, video I made it's gonna take a little bit to get it created but I thought I'd separate the part two uh, so you can just see the the actual ride around kind of thing so and trying to walk hey if you want to walk you go right ahead and walk it's a good walk and you walk your act take some uh, tree trimming things <laughs> tree and tree up you know, clean up some of the branches a little bit and uh, get the trail back uh, back to normal. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you if you're interested, you know, and uh, give me a ring. Um, there's turkey, there's deer, there's hogs, you know, you'll, and you got fish. So you could definitely live off the land if, you, if that's what we need to do um, down the road. So if there's another COVID, there's plenty of food. Plenty of water, plenty of sunshine. That, you see, there's a fish that just jumped again. And uh, well, once again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you like it, and I hope you're interested in uh, a slice of heaven. All right, thank you very much.